hello everyone welcome to study automation in this tutorial we will see how we can write uh, doc api documentation for update books so if you will see here we have a endpoint book slash book id and then we have to pass the data under body and then we will get response as one id that we are passing here one object so the same thing we can see here in our code we have the book slash id and then we have put method so what i'll do we can copy the any any method we can copy so let's say i'll copy swagger and uh, put it here so we have to change that this is put method we'll change put and then we can say the endpoint is book slash id so here we have to also change book books and then we'll pass as id now you can see the description we can change used to update data we can say update data in mongodb request body is also important since we are using here request dot body and we are passing data in body so this body part is also important we will not change it response we can say that up so basically in response updated successfully this is the message but actually if you will see in postman we are getting the complete object so for that so for that what we will do first we have to pass the parameter so let's copy from the top one where we are passing the parameters so i'll just copy these things so that it will be used to pass the parameter just before request body i'll paste it here parameter id required and then description so this will be the parameter this is the request body now we have to add the response also so for that i'll copy from here response and then content and books just copy it and add it in put method so after this let's add this so here we have content application json a schema array and then we can say this is the so instead of array you can also directly write object and from that object you will get the data so this is all that we need to do just save it and we can see whether it is working or not let's run it so now here we have put method click here so first of all what we can see we can click on get all try and run it so now let's change 103 mysql to oracle database 103 so for that i'll use put method here i can say we can see here that parameter is also required body is also required so i'll click on try it out parameter i'll say 103 and then a string i wanted to update as oracle database earlier it was mysql database now i want to change it to oracle database oracle database just click send and we can see that we get response as this one and we are getting 200 that means data should be updated right let's check again by calling this method get try it out and we can say clear so that we will not see any data now click execute okay so here we have issue that it is added one more one. okay so let's update any other thing so we have let's say 104 java programming to let's say i'll make changes for let's say 104 and instead of java programming i can say java to program and click execute let's go here clear the response and then execute again so you can see this is updated actually here we have wrong entry made it should be title and id but here it was a made entry that name that's why it was not updated so 
for other fields it will be updated title whenever you will update any anyone so let's say if you want to update 105 c-sharp programming to java programming you have to simply write here 105 and then we can say java program and if i'll send it so now 105 will be changed to java programming 105 is now java program so this this is all that we can use to update any record through swagger thank you so much